Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Bobby Inbox Printing Tees and Banners, and uh, we are here on YouTube. Do us a favor, like and subscribe for us. Okay, so today, here's what we doing. I'm just going to show you how to make a basic vinyl t-shirt. We call it vinyl. It's not The shirt's not made of vinyl. The shirt is a shirt. Just say, for example, this right here. The material is vinyl. It's made of a type of vinyl that you then heat press on. We're going to create this in Photoshop. We're going to save it out as a PNG. We're going to open it up in Cricut and we're going to send it to the Cricut machine. After that, we're even going to show you how to load that Cricut machine with that vinyl, get that mug to cut, pull it off. We're going to show you how to weed. That. Then we're going to actually press that mug. All right, so we're going to start by opening up Photoshop. Let me get me out the way. So that's what we're doing. But since you don't even know how I got this far, what you want to do is first create a new, you want to go to File and New because you want to create a new image. So um, go to File and New. We're going to change this to Inches. And I'm, I just, for the Cricut, the Cricut technically, uh, you can go 12 by 12. I always go 11 by 11 just to play it safe. All right. And so it's width 11, height 11, resolution is only 100. For Cricut, you don't need a high resolution, all right? So that's how you create the first part, all right? Well, we've already started that. And so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of deconstruct this and, uh, and reconstruct it, okay? So it starts with the top line. What you wanna do is find your font. In this case, we use Bebas for this top line, B-E-B-A-S. There it is, we select that, click inside the box, and that line is all caps, I'm about to. Okay, click our little pointer sign over here to just get it back to where we can move it around. And then we wanna increase the size of that. One quick way to do it is just click up here where it says show transform controls. We wanna grab and hold down shift, and now we can drag that out if it will cooperate. Let me get that going. Okay, now, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna drag it out to that and hit enter. The next line is Slay. And let me see what font that is. I think that's called Mistral. So we're gonna go up here. We're gonna create a new layer, which the shortcut way to do it on the keyboard, you can't see me, but I'm going Control Shift New. So Control Shift N. All right, so we do that. Now that's giving us a new layer. If you notice over here, there's a new layer that shows up over there. Okay, now, so now we know we're on a new layer. So now when we go text and go find Mistral, M-I-S-T-R-A-L, we now know the first line will stay the same. We know this. But we're now when we click inside the box, we can start typing in the second line, we'll show uh, in the new font. We want to do all caps and the word is slay. So obviously that's way too small. One quick way, I'm, I can go right up in this box and I know, you know, just cause of doing this, uh, I know at least to get it in the ballpark, if I go 400, um, that's gonna pop it up to, you know, pretty much the size and then we can adjust it a little more later, okay? But for now, let's go ahead and put in our last line, which is the number 40. We're gonna go Control Shift New to make a new layer and we're gonna go and we wanna find Bebus again and select that, drop that in there and let me see if that's gonna act right. Type in the four, okay, very good, type in the four. All right, so we bring that, we're gonna now, so now this is the whole shirt pretty much. So what we're gonna do now is now you just use your, your um, artistic skills, you feel me? And um, you just kinda get that to where you kinda like how it looks, okay? Um, moving stuff around, moving stuff around. You want to make sure things are centered. See that 40? You would think it's centered, but it's not. And I'm going to tell you, that's one of the biggest secrets to making a shirt look professional is that everything is centered. So that's why I put that line down the middle. And that way I always know if I'm centered or not. Okay? Yeah, the eye can deceive you. But um, like this tells me I want to go ahead and stretch out. Oops, I want to stretch out this sleigh a little more. So we'll do that on both sides. Let me see. And I mean that's and that's that's fine. That's good enough for now. Maybe the 40 we can stretch just a little bit as well. Get them a little closer and then make sure it's centered. Okay. 
and that's that's the design okay next step is to save it out so first you're going to save it you just want to save it to your computer as a file that you can come back to Photoshop and edit it again or add things to it or whatever so that's your first step is just to save it as it is name it something the next thing you want to do though is go to your file and go to save as click that and we want to change the file type so we go here uh, right now it's a Photoshop file as you can see we want to do the drop down or drop up and find PNG and we want to save it as a PNG so we're going to save it as that next step is we're going to bring up the Cricut software Cricut if you don't know is a machine that will cut the vinyl yes we, we do notice it alright so we moving and grooving that's what we doing so the first thing you want to do is go to upload go here to upload image and now you're going to browse your computer open and there it is and so here is where you've got simple moderately complex and complex it's anything that's just one color and that's all this is going to be is always going to be simple we can get into we'll get into the other stuff as time goes on okay so we're going to go set continue this is an area where it'll allow you to make a, to erase things we don't need to do anything so we're just going to go continue now on the left they've got save as a print then cut that's something we're going to talk about later what we want is the uh, save as a cut image all right so we got as a cut image and we say save and then so what we're going to do is click on that one and click over here on the right on insert images and it opens up in there all right so all we have to do is click on make it when we click on make it it's going to put it on the mat for you we need to mirror the image so we mirror it it's going to cut backwards and you'll see later how that's going to make it right side correct for us you know what i'm trying to say this uh, we do not know all we're going to do now is click continue it's going to tell you to set your material and uh my bad I almost forgot if you look over my right shoulder in the background there well her name is bella Bella, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, it lives. All right, there we go. All right, so there's the Bella. She is a Catahoula Leopard Dog Pit Bull mix. She is eight months old, and she's already 50 pounds. We're gonna go out to where the machines are, and we're going to show you the next step. All right. See, uh, I'm just gonna pick some random colors for this demonstration. Okay, here we go. Let's go with this. Cricket logo blinks, hit that logo. All right, when that's done, we remove that from the Cricket machine and peel it off of the mat. All right, and when we talk about weeding, we're just saying all we're doing here is we're removing the excess vinyl from the, the carrier, like so. And then of course you got all your circles inside of everything.
let's get our shirt on. And we peel away the carrier, and there we are. And remember this, always find time for the things that make you feel happy to be alive. We know this.